Um, now the keyboards are playing those chords, like I said, but the way that the guitar is hinting is that I'm keeping the low E and the root E, but I'm changing the top note. So they just end up being these little two note uh, chords or double stops. And um, the intervals are what, what makes it interesting. And actually a lot of thought goes into the order of the intervals and trying to come up with something original because it's done so many times before. So the, the time signature, like I said, is one element of originality. So it's in 9-4, um, and then it has uh, a tag that's uh, in 4-4 four, four at the end. And then the other element of originality is hopefully the, the order of the intervals and the chord progression that's going by. Basically what's happening is uh, the chords that are going by are um, G to A, but the tonality is uh, a G, like Lydian type sound, and then an A dominant sound, and then um, it just transposes and it goes from uh, uh, B flat to C. All right, so that's the, the movement that's going on. The tonality that's going by is G to A, and I'm starting on the, the higher note of the arpeggio and on the E string and the arpeggios are constantly descending. So normally when you play an arpeggio, you might go. You know, ascend and descend, but the interesting thing is that there's a melody going by. And we're able to get that melody by constantly only descending the arpeggio. What I'm doing technique-wise that I wanted to show you is instead of using strict um, alternate picking, uh, in order to get that melody to pop more, i um, repeating a downstroke. So I'm going uh, down, up, down, and then again down, up, down, down, up, down. So I'm repeating the downstroke as opposed to doing it strictly alternate. And that's what makes that top line stand out a little bit more. And when I go up to A, it's kind of hinting, just sort of uh, bouncing off A there. And then it's basically the same technique up on B flat. And there's a little bit of a, a tag that makes it more interesting technically. All right, so here it is slow. alternate but there's a repeated down stroke all right, right. All right so it's down up down down up down down up down down up down and then it's alternate from there also a cool thing rhythmically about that is uh, I'm basically um, playing eighth notes but they're phrased first they're phrased in groups of three and then they're phrased in groups of two 
um, because the, the time that's going by is kind of a 6-8 type of feel. This lick is also from the Count of Tuscany, and it's a unison section that we do in the song. Um, and basically, we're doing a metric modulation where we're changing time signatures uh, while keeping this kind of motif going. And what makes it difficult is uh, uh, what makes it difficult is that on the guitar, there's a lot of sort of uh, pedaling and string skipping going on. So it's probably something that's a little bit easier on the keyboard with two hands or even with one hand to do that. But on the guitar, you have to kind of, if you're going to use alternate picking, you have to be able to, to skip back to a lower string cleanly and, you know, and you're skipping over a, a middle string. So the chord progression that's going by in this case is uh, C minor to B and then E flat minor to D. All right, so we talked about originality before. You want to try to get a chord progression that's going to be interesting. So in that case, it might not be something that you've heard you know, too often. And uh, the other thing about this is that it sounds like it's a motif that's repeated over and over. But what we're doing is we're very uh, subtly changing the ending every time. We're changing the time signature every time on, on the very last chord. The interesting thing about this is that we're using met uh, metric modulation and the time signatures that are going by are as follows. And we'll just use the numbers to make it easy. So seven, six, seven, eight, seven, six, seven, nine. Then it repeats seven, six, seven, eight, and then seven, six, seven, twelve. And uh, what I mean by those numbers is that it's the amount of notes that, that are grouped. So I guess you can call it seven, eight, six, eight, uh, seven, eight, 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 or four, four. So just to uh, the way that you would count that basically is just counting the, the note group. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that last chord that I'm doing there, that D, is the one that changes every time. Everything else is the same. So that was an eight, and then we do one in nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then it repeats with the one in eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the final one is 12. And we add a little uh, B at the end. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Or you can say nine and then a little tag of three.